Well, we in Lawrence, Kansas are seeing extreme growth in natural and organic foods. Um, the conventional stores, particularly Kroger's, is doing a much better job than they ever have in the past. Uh, they, it seems like they went to a, a summer camp and, and like learned how to do natural foods really well and got the right products and got really great on pricing and everything and did a bunch of branding uh, to, to make sure people know that they're doing it. So that's really hit us. Um, and we have four of those Kroger stores in our town. They're called Dylan's. Um, hy V's doing an amazing job as well, and their angle is really the friendly service, and they've got these huge natural sections, you know, with a bunch of bulk, a bunch of gluten-free. They say they've got the most gluten-free uh, in Lawrence, um, a lot of organic. Um, and then, of course, we have natural grocers, and we're getting a Sprouts. So that's our situation. We've got a couple, or one independent as well. So there's a lot of growth. Um, people are figuring it out. They're getting the products, and they're getting great prices, which is something that's changed over time. I would also say that some of the stores are trying to position themselves as community leaders, um, as we have tried to do that ourselves, mostly hy V, um, with their registered dietitians in the store and um, all of their communication, their, their monthly or seasonal um, magazines that come out. Um, they do a lot of you know health fairs and different things like that that we would typically see ourselves as the only ones that were doing it were not anymore. So. Um, but now with Sprouts coming in, uh, we have this new breed of competitor coming to town where they're really this cross between conventional and natural, and they're positioning themselves with marketing all, like they're all natural, all local, all organic, all GMO free, you know, um, it's incredible. Um, they are really saturating the market in Kansas City, which is um, just about half an hour, 45 minutes from Lawrence. So. They're coming into Lawrence um, in just a couple months. And when you go into their stores, you know, they've got tractors painted on the walls and people think that it's all local because of that. You know, they call themselves Sprouts Farmer's Market. So that supernatural um, breed of store where it's not just one section of a store that's where the natural, where the, the hippies go. You know, it's really the whole, the whole store is positioned that way, but they really don't have high product standards. Um, which makes people feel really welcome. You know, there's a lot of familiar products. It's fun. You know, it's it's not judgmental. Um, the prices are amazing. So it's it's pretty strong um, competition. Here at Wheatsville in Austin, Texas, we are lucky enough. We're blessed to have uh, the the most competitive, uh, one of the most competitive grocery markets in the country. From what we're told, it certainly seems that way from my vantage point. We have competitors of uh, all shapes and sizes, and, and uh, from our old friends at Whole Foods to uh, Central Market, which is uh, HEB, the giant grocer down here in Texas, their version of a natural foods and gourmet store. Uh, their stores are all around. And then we've got um, Outsiders, Natural Grocers, Sprouts, uh, Trader Joe's, all making inroads with, with uh, two or three or four stores apiece and more coming. Uh, so we really have uh, 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 all of the folks that most everybody else has uh, competing here on some level or other, and uh, we assume that, that if they're not here yet, uh, you know, Lucky's and Fresh Time and those other guys are probably coming at some point. So um, we are very aware of this extremely competitive market, and it feels like as we've gotten better over time, uh, the competition has gotten uh, still more challenging and more fierce, and uh, we really feel like um, we are uh, running and gunning just to get uh, to keep up and and doing everything we can to become better and faster and smarter uh, as we can here as a co-op. When I look over the competitive landscape that I'm facing now, I see that com competition is really coming from everywhere. You know, um, community-supported uh, agriculture, our CSAs, uh, farmers markets, conventional grocers, natural food retailers, online uh, retailers, restaurants, um, all these are impacting our ability to compete in the marketplace um, uh, like we were once used to. Um, you know, locally our major competitor is a Kroger brand called Smith's and um, uh, I'm 
sure a lot of you are aware that Kroger is one of the better uh, operators of conventional grocery stores and have really um, upped the game in terms of natural organics. Um, the new format that I'm uh, competing with is um, uh, a blend of general merchandise and conventional groceries with natural and organic products. Um, in fact, their natural and organic set is the same exact size as our store, and that's uh, their store within the store concept. Um, they are also uh, done very good at their private label line of natural and organics, and they compete well on price and with quality of, of the brands that we have in our co-op that we're familiar with. Um, also, the competition's ability to purchase in volume gives them this um, uh, competitive advantage when it comes to price. You know, this is a, a, a very um, real um, issue when it comes to operating the co-op and how we deal with this type of pressure. Um, the one thing too that our comp competitors have taken is um, a page from the Whole Food Foods playbook and have uh, redecorated or decorated new stores and merchandised their stores impeccably and so that um, now when someone walks in a Kroger brand store, a uh, natural uh, food store, or even a Whole Foods, they see a lot of the same types of merchandising and signage and um, I think that is one area where the competition has gotten much more uh, intense. When I first got here, Whole Foods announced that they were coming in uh, like within a year, so we had uh, a lot to do in a little time. But uh, before they opened, there's a, a couple other competitors that came in. Uh, Rose Hours and Natural Grocers came in. Natural Grocers, of course, they um, challenged us on our uh, our wellness department. We had a very uh, large uh, wellness center with um, a lot of longtime employees that had uh, a lot of knowledge base. They had uh, customers that uh, had been shopping with us for years, but. So Natural Grocer came in, and um, they, of course, they undercut us on pricing. And again, there there was uh, an initial hit that uh, people wanted to see the, uh, you know, the the new digs that Natural Grocers occupied. And but uh, again, it it took a while for uh, some people to come back. Right, the comp competitive market is changing. We've always competed uh, with Wegmans. Wegmans has been a competitor of our. Uh, Wegmans moved into our direct market about 15 years ago in 1998, and they do a fantastic job. We learn a lot from them every single day. Um, and just in the last year and a half, Trader Joe's has opened about 20 miles, 15 miles away from us, and so that's a, you know, that took a little bit of our sales away. Um, and Whole Foods is going to be opening in the next year. So it's definitely, competition is definitely heating up. Um, and we really look at it as an opportunity, again, to push us to get better at doing what we do really well and different from them and get better at that and learn as much as we can from them.